Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Subnautica. Uh, we got a radio message. I will get to that in just a moment. Um, so I am really, really into the game, and I don't want to stop playing. So uh, I hope it's okay that I played Subnautica two weeks in a row, and I might do that again. We'll just have to wait and see. For now, let's listen to the radio message. Play partially translated broadcast. Oh. oh! Okay. So I'm going to continue my day pretending like I didn't hear that radio message, if that's okay with everyone else. So, um, I want to make this into my cute little laboratory. So I need five glass and two titanium for this. And I want to see if there's like any cute desks or shelves or anything, because I have some really cute plans for this. I'm gonna need a lot of titanium. I'm gonna wait till it's uh, light outside, then I'll head over. Well, I'll head over. Um, I'll, uh, oh, is it already light? Oopsie doopsie. <laughs> he probably needed to sleep anyway. All right, I wanted to try something out. How much water will a bladder fish give me if I just eat it normally? So I'm going to take my stabulous knife and I'm going to cook a fish real quick while I, there we go, that should cook it for me. There we go. And then I can just catch the rest of these normally. All right, I'm at 12 right now, and with the, oh, it gives, okay, it says right there, it gives three water, and this will give, I mean, I should probably turn it into water before I calculate that. Okay. So if I'm in a pinch, I guess that'll eventually work. For now, I want to head back to the hall of subscribers. So I have everyone whose comment last episode included, I subscribed on a spinny wheel, and I'm gonna spin it. Let's see who it lands on, because I want to make this fair. Okay! All right, today's subscriber is none other than the amazing MB4DI1XC6Y. So if you want your name to be in the hall of subscribers, all you have to do is comment below on this video and just use the words I subscribed uh, somewhere in your comment and I will put you on the random spinny wheel and spin the wheel and see who gets to join next time. Since I am recording these more frequently, you are more likely to get chosen if you, the sooner you put your name in, because I don't know exactly when I'm going to record. So make sure you have the notifications turned on so that way you can come and comment as soon as you possibly can. Thank you for subscribing and welcome to the Hall of Subscribers. Okay, so now I just need to search for titanium and stuff because I just need to get a lot of this work done. Oh, no, I'm one short. No, that's really annoying. Oh, wait, here's one. Okay, let's go see if we can build the alien containment now. Aquariums provide an ideal opportunity to study alien fauna up close. Select carefully which life forms you bring on board. They may also be studying you. Lovely. How do I put aliens into it? Hmm, so cool. I don't think I can like boomerang throw him in. Hmm. I is a smart person. Can't drop here. Use storage containers instead. But what if I don't want to? How do I put stuff into this? Why is why am I struggling so much with this? Do I need to use the build tool to get it in there? Hmm. Alright, for starters, I want to start putting some countertops down. You guys know what I might actually do. I think it might be time for a scanner room because by the looks of it, I'm going to be needing a lot of materials. Oh, so we got life pods two. And I know we had the passenger remains, but I don't actually see that one on here. And I'm going to stick my generator room somewhere that won't ruin the aesthetic. Let's just put it here for now. And then scanner room. Yeah. That does not look safe. Why is there nothing underneath it? Hang on. Whoa. This is cool. Ooh, there's a, a little fabricator here. Camera drone, scanner room speed upgrade, scanner room range upgrade. Ooh, I might have the goods. I might have the stuff for this. Limestone cave, silver fragment, lead. Ooh, I, I do need a lead though. But do you know what I probably need to do? I probably need to go get my generator back online. All right, here's the generator room. 
And I need to go back to the kelp forest and get uh, the stuff for this. But I may or may not have closed off my only way out. That's okay, I can go this way. Not my only way out, but like my usual way out. Ooh, scrap. I need this for my uh, building projects. I only have room for two, that'll do for now. My sister came over last week, I think, and um, I wanted to show her my Subnautica world. So <laughs> I I said, I'm not gonna save this, so just do whatever you want. So she like, she customized how the sea moth looks. She went on a little adventure, it was really fun. Can I scan for lead? Scanning. Hey, there's a little dot there. Does that mean that's where my lead is? Control camera. <gasps> Whoa! Wait, if I put... Hang on. If I put glass here, can I see what I look like? I need to go get a glass. This will probably just be temporary, so I can probably just go and grab it from... from this. Can I access the camera? Like there. Alright, let's see what I look like. Oh my gosh, it's me! Look! I don't believe it! I'm an actual person! I don't know why I was expecting to just not even be there. That's so cool. And then it'll show me where the lead is. Whee! I feel like Guilty Spark. Okay, so there's lead in there. Okay, so I'm guessing I can just head over. Because I only need one lead. I can't remember what I needed it for, but I just needed one. Oh my gosh! I'm gonna pick it up. And a singular lead that I probably left here, to be honest. I'm gonna drop. Then I can just uh, get rid of this window. Oh, that's so cool. So I can get upgrades and I can make a chip. I should probably get that. What did I need the lead for? I needed it, and now it's driving me crazy because I'm like, I don't know. It'll come to me. Ah, I remember now. They're just coming out here to catch fish and I remembered I need to make a foundation because this looks really unstable. Is it not gonna let me put a foundation down? Do I need to disassemble this first? I do need to. With these new flippers, if I get a, a start, I can jump all the way up here. Well, can I just add, um, can I just add support just by putting it here? Will this count? <laughs> that, that actually worked, okay. All right, there's three containers. And I do want a wall shelf about here. It might be cool to have little uh, lockers on either side of this. Or maybe I could put those on the side. I don't want that to look too clunky. Or maybe I could, I could even try that. Ooh, I kind of like that. Am I out of titanium already? Time for titanium. So let's go check out my new scanner room. See if the see if it can help us with that. Reef back. Oh, can it track a uh, fish that I've entered into the system? I need to start scanning some of these normal things because I just don't. Yeah, let's see if we can find a wreck. Okay, let's check camera one, and then wreck. So just talking about this right here because I've I, I know about this. I I live here. Uh, oh, this comes with a built-in flashlight. You know what I could do? I could get some food and water and then go on that quest and see uh, if I can just get some materials while I'm in a new area. That might be the most promising solution to this. So I'm just gonna put a whole bunch of crap in here and I'm gonna go uh, get a bunch of fish. Oh, there it is, the passenger's remains. It's different from a CTOU's life pod. Did you just poop those out? So much metal salvage already. Extremely filling, it says. Huh, which is more filling, you think? So this is 32. This is 40. Whoa, the rich and alder are kind of insane. I'm gonna eat that right now. Dude! It's kind of awesome. Oh, I remember. Oh yeah, I remember this now. They ha they need to make a swim for the surface. First, I want to I'm gonna head to life pod two, because I would rather there be no chance of an alive person than have to transport remains at the moment. Also, I was just reading through my comments, and um, and uh, I think I'm saying your name right, Smarg the Wolf one says that uh, if I get enough speed, I can actually uh, jump, do little jumps. <laughs> That's kind of fun. 
Uh, so it's 500 meters, and that's exactly my crush depth. So I am going to have to get out, it looks like, and swim down a bit, which I always hate doing, but it'll be for the good of the world. How do, I'm still trying to figure out how... I'm going to grab this. How do I put um, aliens in alien containment? Because I thought it would have given me a little menu like it does with the fish tank. I just looked part of it up. Whenever I look things up, I try to read the littlest amount I possibly can. And it said something along the lines of, you gotta build a hatch first. So that's what I'm gonna have to do. Oh, when I was here last, I didn't like it. It scared me. I don't like these bone sharks either. They also scare me. Let's just, let's just safely assume that everything here scares me, okay? Oh, I don't like open water. I just got chills. I just got like massive chills. Okay, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna chill here for a bit, if that's okay with everyone. Guys probably just heard me panic. Hey, knock it off! I've got my stasis rifle right. Left my rifle at home. Hang on. Where did I put my rifle? I know I put it in one of these containers so I would have enough room to um to build. But I I'm gonna take this with me. I can't find it. It's so weird. I don't Oh, it was likely in here, wasn't it? Oh, thank goodness it actually is. Okay. Okay, let's try that again. Ooh! Now that's a jump. Ah! Where's cotton candy? Where's cotton candy? I'm scared. What the? No! I just got numbed on. Are these shale? Please don't eat me. Yep, that's the shale. Stop it! I like how there's a temperature at the bottom, but I don't think I've, I've ever been in a situation where the temperature has to be factored in. I'm sure it will be in below zero. Um, I did actually buy that one, by the way, because Steam had like a massive sale going on and I got it for nine bucks. Uh, I know I'm nowhere near completing this game, but I got it because I knew I was going to play it in the future. And I mean, it was on sale. So, oh my gosh, these guys are really annoying. I'm going to have to kill them all. One. I'm at one. If this explodes, I'm going back to a safe. I'm not making another Seamoth. Oh. Oh. I want to check out that crash site before I really do anything else, but there's a whole bunch of bone sharks trying to eat my Seamoth. So I'm a half. I'm gonna have to take care of them. That's like the only option I can really logically think of. I mean, I got my rifle. Okay, I got one. I'm gonna turn cotton, actually. The creatures can be attracted to light, so I'm not gonna turn the lights on. Earthen coral tube. That's interesting. Can I harvest it? No, <laughs> not even in the slightest. This stasis rifle has given me way too much confidence. I know I said I wasn't gonna turn it on, but I kinda need light. Cyclops engine. Ooh. Ow! <sighs> okay, deep breaths. <laughs> Let's try and scan this again. New blueprint synthesized. Does that mean I can build a cyclops now? Prawn suit drill. I believe I already have this, but I'm gonna drill it. Drill it. I'm gonna get it just in case. What's in here? Probably. A, oh, a nutrient block. I was gonna say water would be nice because I don't have as many as much water as I would like, but I am also very impatient. Impatient. But there's another one here. Another nutrient block. Don't mind if I do. Mm, let's say... Okay, here's the door. Hmm. Alright, I'm actually gonna bring my Seamoth over here so I can, um, get air in dire situations. Ah! Oh, whoops. I didn't mean to take a screenshot. I'm gonna put this back where it was, that way it doesn't die. <sighs> I hate this game so much. That's a lie, I'm enjoying it. But I'm scared. I scared out of my mind. I 
think those are my Seamoth lights, actually. Oh, okay. Uh, this is blocking the way, so I just need to use my... Like this. Is that enough? I should have brought another battery with me. I can just take it out of my uh, build habitat builder um, if my flashlight runs out because I'm not going to need my habitat builder out here. Oh, there's a supply crate. Another nutrient block. Okay. And I've got a lot of food, but I appreciate it. Swim charge fins. Wirelessly charges your held tool while you swim. I already have this tech, it says. But I'm going to take it and it gave me titanium. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go get some air. I cut that open and I switched uh, my battery. Terminal, uh, data terminal. D R A W M safety instructions appendix A fourteen. Don't climb on your get off equipment while it's moving. That's those are good instructions. Cyclops fire suppression system and also fire suppression system on the Cyclops. Nice. And I can cut through there. Ooh, is this just a full on? Oh, it's, it's, oh, it's for the, okay, it's for the prawn suit. I want to make the prawn suit so bad, but I cannot figure out how to make aerogel. Prawn suit fragment. Apparently I can't scan that for whatever reason about this. That, I can't do that one either. I might run home after this and put everything I found in the chests, get more batteries, and then come back for the life pod. All right, here we go. Don't mind if I do. Okay. A med kit is probably a good thing. There's another door I can hopefully open. If I turn this off, I can just see electricity. Sometimes that's really good to turn off your lights to see if you can find some PDAs or something. Okay, we got that. I do believe I already have those. I think so. Ooh, new chair. Is it a gaming chair? Office chair, even better. Propulsion cannon fragment, I already have one of those. <laughs> All right, there's a whole lot more to explore. Time for more oxygen. Prawn suit grappling arm fragment. Tons of good stuff for the prawn suit in here. Oh, this just leads back outside. Where am I? Oh, okay, literally right there. Okay. I like how their bodies just stay here. It is really weird we can't get food from them, though. All right, so my inventory is already full and I didn't even get to where I'm supposed to be. So I'm actually gonna run home, put all of this there, and come back. Whee! I'm just gonna put all of the titanium in here because I'm gonna need it for building the room over. Whee! Oopsies. Okay, okay, okay. I don't like being out in open water like that freaking me out. Dang, I feel bad for the- hang on. There it is. I feel bad for her that she was here without, like, anything. Whoa. Hearing a zappy zap. It's getting warmer for some reason. I don't think I need my laser cutter out anymore. I should have done this in there. So I'm actually gonna switch it for the repair tool. I'm really- I, I, I just, I keep losing it. I need to, um, I'm gonna switch it to red. There's the zappy zap. Can I stasis rifle and scan the zappy zap? It's an amp pill. Remember when I said stasis rifle? Yeah, that didn't work. So apparently the stasis rifle does not work on the ampule. But uh, guess what? Its name will remain the Zappy Zap. Oh, there's another ruby. And there's something glowing over there. Hey! You're rude. Think you know a guy. All right, there's another Zappy Zap. Then her life pot. I heard a noise. There it is. If I go down there, I will get crushed. So I'm gonna need to... All right, I got an abandoned PDA. Oh gosh! Oh gosh! Hi! Um... The what? No, not you. I don't 
know if I'm going the right way. I'm just scared. What did I find? Aurora survivors. Life pod two. Chief technical officer use voice log. Flotation devices failed. We're flooding. Evacuate. Wait. I can reconfigure the O2 system to act as a bilge pump. It's working. Okay, good news. We're alive and we've stopped sinking. Bad? The oxygen's going to run out in 30 minutes and we're 500 meters down. What do we do? We'll have to use the remaining juice to send a distress call and build whatever gear we can. Then we find a way to the surface. Uh, I don't know if that went very well for them, though. That's the problem I'm facing. Let me use the first aid kit, because... Ouch. Oh, this looks interesting. What's that on the wall? Oh, I forgot to grab a beacon. Oh, there's another zappy zap. Why is this one specifically glowing? Ghost weed. I take? I take. There's another warper. But I don't do no warpers. There's some more deep sh- Ah! Why? What happened? Oh, it was a bone shark. What are the odds that I got out right as he decided to attack? Should probably grab some blood vines while I'm at it as well. Oh, blood oil. Blood root. Oh, there we go. These are massive. Much bigger than I remember them being. Ooh, that's shiny. It's a rogue cradle. How about no? How about no? How about no? How about no? All right, I think it's about time to go home. <laughs> Do you want to come just check around this area again? That goes a lot deeper, like a lot deeper. All right, I'm gonna have to come back once I have my upgraded depth module. Ew, there's a spooter. Nope. I wanna go home now, okay? I'm, uh, I'm going home now. I lived! Rogue Cradle, a complex cave dwelling flora specimen. The bright yellow core of this plant is protected by a rigid cage, presumably to ward off medium sized herbivores. I haven't met no herbivores yet. Oh, that's right, I started deconstructing this. Alright, where do I want to add the hatch? Probably here at the back, so it's less noticeable. I need quartz and two titanium. I should have. I, I might have actually used all of my quartz, so. Ah, no, one, the perfect amount. Oh, wow. Now I can put stuff in here. Okay, how interesting. So I want to put some of the alien eggs in here that I found, I've found i found throughout the duration of this playthrough. I don't know which egg to start with. Um, well, let's do one of these little ones. And let's do one of these ones. And then let's just go put them here in the alien containment. Use planter, it says. Oh. So I'll, okay, so I can actually plant things in here. I just yeeted it. I wonder if that'll actually work, to be honest. Okay, three creature eggs. And I'm gonna go grab some seeds. I grabbed a jelly shroom spore and a ghost weed. Cool. Just for fun, I think I'm gonna add an oculus and an eye eye in there. But before I do, I'm going to hold them in my hand to ensure they are not infected, because I don't want to infect the tank. He looks fine. He looks fine, okay. Cool. So it's not letting me drop anything, and I did want to kind of decorate this place with the tablets and stuff that I collected, but that looks like that might not be an option. I am going to pick up my microscope fluid analyzer, sample analyzers, and, you know, just to decorate a bit. I can't even put them in the shelves. That's really annoying. Here we go, a small sample flask. You know what I, I could actually do? I could take screenshots of the purple tablets and I could uh, put them on the walls to show that I have been studying them. Here, let's try it out. Okay, let's see. I took a picture of the orange tablet. Let's see if this will be cute or not. 
Oh, it's bigger than I thought. Uh, can I crop it or anything? Okay, that kind of works. I do want to move it. So to try and get a, a full picture of the orange tablet, I'm just going to have to get all up in its its grill this close. And then let's, um, let's do the same for the purple tablet. Oh, the, so the purple tablet doesn't float. And um, I think I'm also going to take pictures of the Degasi habitats. I'm going to go back down there and I will actually take pictures of them. And so it'll look like I've been studying them because Bart has been studying the infection, you know? The lighter picture looks better. So I'm going to go retake the orange picture because it's light outside. Better. Much, much better. And then I'm going to come move the infected fish into here. And um, around the infection place, I can actually take pictures of um, infected animals. Nice. I also think it could be cool to have a nuclear waste disposal, even though I don't actually deal with nuclear waste. Nice. Just the problem is it's so much of the same color. I need something that pops. Here, just to make it symmetrical, I could have a nuclear waste bin on each side, so it looks like I'm doing some really important research. And um, I might just need to head back to the Torgal's house and see if there's more stuff I can yoink. <laughs> I just need something to cut the space, because it's just so much gray and white. Oh, whoa! Hey, my uh, mushroom and my ghost plant uh, grew. It looks like the egg is moving too. It wasn't moving before. There was another egg here, and I don't know where it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Do you see it? Look! Oh my gosh, it's one of those blow up fish. I need to get in there with it. Well, hello. Crash fish? Raised in containment. Okay, so yeah, this creature egg is growing. Uh, there were two, I don't, so this is this cra uh, crawfish or whatever. There was another egg in here, and I don't know where the other egg went, but I don't see anything else out of the ordinary. It could have been an oculus. I had one oculus, one eye eye. Was it, was it really a spade fish? I don't remember putting a spade fish in here. <laughs> Let's see what it says. <laughs> Derp. All right, I'm gonna put the crash fish back in here. It's amazing. So if it's raising containment, uh, can I play with it and stuff? Because I want to play with it and stuff. Part of me wants to go back to the island and get uh, a picture of the green interior. Because I feel like the green interior would look really good against all of this. I mean, this is just the beginning, so it doesn't need to be perfect. I can't believe I raised a crash fish. I worked so hard and did nothing. I can't wait to see what that is next episode. Now, eventually, I'm going to put a glass ceiling on this. Okay, guys, I'm going to end this episode here. Once again, I don't want to stop playing, but um, I don't want to do an episode that's like two hours long. So um, if you guys are good with me doing this weekly, I could continue doing that um, until I get it out of my system because I am obsessed with this game at the moment. And yeah, I hope you guys have an amazing day. Remember to tell me that you subscribe in the comments to get your name on the wheel so you could possibly uh, join the hall of subscribers. And yeah, I hope you have an amazing day. Bye.